Hey everyone, today's video is about when they hurt you during training. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo Katsuki He really wanted to fight with you for a long time now. But he was still so worried about you. Look, as strong as he thought you were. He had to admit it. He knew he was way stronger than you were. So, you both having to give it your all during training wouldn't have been so bad if it wasn't against each other. He can also see how nervous you were. And, well, that definitely didn't help. He came close to you and held your hands, then whispered, It's going to be okay, Wyan. You're going to be fine. And what if you lose? So, it doesn't really matter. It's not that important. It was important to you, though, and he knew it. But he was still trying to reassure you. As he was about to say another sentence, Aizou called out your names to the training battlefield. And, well, you didn't have any other choice than to go up to that place and fight. Well, what was going to happen? You both were really nervous, and you both knew it. But still, nobody knows what's going to happen unless they do it, right? So, I saw I began counting down, and once it hit, one, you both began fighting against each other, hitting each other, and then, you began to use your course against each other. It was really hard. To actually fight with you, he noticed. Not that, um, it's not about your strength. No, he wasn't talking about that. But he was talking about his worry. He was awfully scared that he will do something to you. Like hurt you or something. So he was trying not to hold back too much so you don't get hurt emotionally. And also trying to hold back. So he doesn't hurt you physically. Just what was he about to do? He was so scared. But then, he saw you looking so sad. Almost like disappointed in yourself. So absentmindedly, he began using his quirk even more. Hitting you. That's when he saw how excited you looked. But you were also scared. But he was fine with that. So after about 10 minutes of fighting with each other, he actually noticed that he had improved a lot. And he was very proud of you, to say the least. But then, he was too caught up with looking at you that he didn't notice the big explosion that he sent your way. You tried to dodge it. You really did. And when he did so... It hurt your arm really badly. But at least a body part is going to be way better than a whole body, right? You fell back on the ground holding your arm. It was burning badly and it also had a big bruise over it. Bakugo gasped slightly when he saw the bruise. Did he really burn you? He didn't mean to. Were you crying? Were you in a lot of pain? He asked a lot of questions in his mind. But when he heard your rumpers, he quickly crouched down next to you and held your arm for you, telling Aizawa to tell the recovery girl to speed up a little, at least. When the recovery girl was there, she healed you, and they made you go to the infirmary room. When you were done and felt better, you had a cast around your arm and Katsuki. Well, you could say he was traumatized. He was never going to fight against you again. Never. Not after what happened today. Ion, are you alright? He said when he came to the infirmary room. Yeah, I am alright. Don't worry about it. But hey, I just wanted to tell you, don't blame yourself, yeah? 
um, I never told you I'm blaming myself. But I know you do. Just please don't. You really didn't do anything wrong, okay? I'm fine. You showed him your arm. That you can move now perfectly. He smiled at you. Even though you were in pain, you were trying to cheer him up. Oh, just how could he live without you? Taroki Shoto. Taroki never intended on hurting you. Well, he really didn't do it on purpose anyway, and you knew that. But he was so mad. Seeing his father standing there, watching him, and trying to make him use his left side. Well, that obviously didn't work. He tried to show his dad that he could beat anyone with that one right side of his. So he was sending a lot of ice blocks to your way until he made this huge ice thing that he didn't even know what that was and what you could call it. But wow, it hurt. There was a spike and it went through your arm and made it bleed a little. Well, not a little. That's what I could say. Well, Tadaraki was melting the ice. He was looking at you. Concern. He still didn't know what happened, but looking at you crying. Well, maybe you were just crying because you lost. Why on? Are you alright? He asked. No. I'm bleeding. You said. That's when he panicked. He tried to melt it quickly, and it did. And once he was done, he looked at you. Where? You gave him your arm, and shit. It was full of blood. You could see the panic in his eyes grow even more. But you were losing your consciousness. He didn't notice what was happening, but there were a lot of figures. And then... Everything turned into black. When you woke up again, you were in the infirmary room. And here he was, Tadaraki. He was looking at you with so much concern that you almost felt bad for him. Hey, don't worry, okay? I'm alright now. At least it was only through my arm. Yeah, but I could have hurt you. I really shouldn't be focusing my father that much. Don't worry about it. It's not your fault anyway. Okay. I'll try to. Thank you, though. I'm only saying the truth. And, well, that ended really well, right? Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.